to lead that transformational effort, and they own it. So we adopted that framework. Continuing on, we developed several sets of priorities, we developed some values, and we started meeting, and here we are today. So I want to take a few moments to go to this page. Sorry, I didn't know the book. Um, but it says results. You will see here three of our four goals that we set for ourselves three years ago. <coughs> First thing we said we wanted to do is collectively advocate on behalf of the African American community. We said we wanted to mobilize and support the development of African American leaders informal and formal leaders. So those leaders that are pastors, presidents of organizations, and chiefs this and chiefs that, and also those individuals that are just in the community saying, this is what we're going to do. I don't have a title. I'm not looking for a title, but I'm going to leave this moment. The final thing we wanted to do is increase the capacity of African American organizations to improve outcomes. I'm going to skip to the third column, and I just want to share what is the updated state of engagement in the African American community? And we're excited and we want to share this is our, our testimony, if you will. Today, we've had our general meetings in our first couple of years. We met once a month at the General African American Collaborative, and then we have gone to quarterly meetings. So, over a three year time period, we've had 137 sign ins at our African American Collaborative general meetings. We've had at our priority team meetings 238 sign ins. And I highlighted this because you can see this is a passion point for the African American community leadership. 100 of those 238 sign-ins for those priority team meetings were for the economic development priority team. 43 of 375 sign-ins over the last three years, African Americans signing in four or more times. What does that mean? That says to us that we have African Americans that are consistently engaged because they're concerned and they want to be a part of the solution. I won't take the time to go through those, the rest of those. I wanted to highlight those opportunities. We've had, um, in the next section, 64 African Americans who attended leadership development opportunities. So these are African Americans who see a problem and they want to solve a problem and they want to develop the skills to navigate the system to eradicate our community of those problems. I also would like to highlight that three years ago, there was hardly any African American organizations that were nonprofits that were receiving funding to do the work that they were doing. What does that mean? That meant that all of us, because I was in that us then, we were volunteering to do the work. And most of us today are still volunteering to do the work. That means we work our 8 to 5, or our 3 to 12, or 12 to 7, or what have you. And then on our off time and on our weekends, we do the work that needs to be done to transform our community. But we're happy to say that we've been able to increase funding in the African American community to our organizations, and there will be some wonderful announcements coming very, very soon. I want to turn to the last page there. And it says 2020 and beyond. And that's really what today is about. Today is about 2020 and beyond. We spent the last three years building some muscles, and we're still going to build some more muscles. We spent the last three years organizing, strengthening our relationships, working through some tough spots internally as an African-American community. And now we're ready to move out and really bust the seams, if you know what I mean. And so, 2020 and beyond, addressing and attending to the fundamental values of the African American Collaborative. The African American Collaborative will work over the next three years to specifically address the needs for systems change and stability in the African American community. We've developed two work groups, a systems change work group and a stabilities work group to address these two uh, priorities over the next three years. I'm not going to go into all that. At the end of today, we will have signing sheets at the back. We're going to have some of our coordinators come and talk a little bit about the work we're going to be doing. And we will invite you to come to some of our upcoming meetings in the months of February to learn more about the details of what we're going to be doing and how you can be involved. That's okay? Yeah. Yeah. Right.
give me a hand. <laughs> And so what we wanted to show was that from our perspective and in our estimation, three years ago, we had an African-American community of leaders that were experiencing hope fatigue. They were saying, we've tried this, we've seen other people try this, it's not worth it. But today, we have several hundred African-Americans who are saying, I think I'm going to give it another try. We have a core group of 100 African Americans that are coming to meetings on a monthly basis, giving it a try. And we've come to the point where we're saying, all right, we're going to do this, but we want to address it systemically. We want to address it systematically. Because through our learnings, we've recognized that one-offs or working in isolation does not give us the best bang for our 